Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming one of my favorite videos to film. It is my November haul video. I can't believe I've managed to film haul videos every month in 2019. Well, there is still December left and my December video is probably just gonna consist of whatever I picked up during Black Friday. I don't anticipate wanting any other eyeshadow palettes by the end of the year, but who knows? Some brand may launch something revolutionary that I must have and then I'll probably grab it. So we'll see how that goes, but without further blabbering, let's get into it. Also guys, I do wanna say happy Vlogmas. I am uploading every day in December. So you guys should see this video coming up pretty soon here. Hello, I hope you guys are having so much fun this holiday season. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is this palette, this bad boy. I did pick this up because I was at the Morphe store the day this launched and I was like, well, might as well. So this is what it looks like. I've already filmed a look with this palette. Let me know if you guys would like to see more looks with this palette. I would love to do like a neutral look with it and of course use all the shades but um, because it was kind of like time sensitive and I wanted to get it up as soon as possible I did do one eye look with this palette and I would love to show you guys more but yeah I think this is a fun gift idea I know a lot of people are really into Morphe I would say like I love some of their products some of their products I can easily skip on so yeah I think this I would recommend for any makeup lover I think it has a fun mix of things so yeah check it out if that something that catches your eye and I do think the formula is good so two thumbs up for me <laughs> so the next products I want to show you guys are my Kaleidos highlighters these were actually gifted to me from the brand and I love them so much. I was so excited for this package because I knew these were gonna be the most stunning inner corner highlights. So now they actually live on my vanity. As you can see, this is my vanity behind me and I don't have a lot of storage space on top of my vanity. So the products that live here are products that I am constantly reaching for. That's why there's a ton of brushes. I have my foundation of the week that I'm kind of using usually on my vanity, but I don't keep a lot of stuff on my vanity. But these guys, they got their own drawer because I'm always reaching for them either to wear as a highlighter or to throw in my inner corner so I love these so much and recently my friend and her nieces came over and they played with my makeup and those girls are a lot paler a lot lighter than me and they were playing with these highlighters and it looks so stunning so even if colorful highlighters scare you the cool thing about these ones is they have a sheer base so all you see when you look at someone and the light isn't hitting them, you don't see any glow. But as soon as you pop your cheek and the light hits it, you see the color in full force. It looks so stunning on the girls. I was so obsessed and I am so thankful that I got these in PR because it's always nice um, to be able to try things out and recommend them to you guys. So love these so so much okay so the next product that was gifted to me and i am so thankful to be on this pr list is the alma palette by amy hearts beauty and it was a collab with my dear friend here on youtube amy loves makeup this palette is stunning i've already filmed one eye look with this and amy's got a ton of different looks with this palette on her channel so if you haven't checked out Amy definitely go do that she also has a community playlist where she's adding videos of creators that are doing looks with this palette so a bunch of them did go out in PR and I've seen quite a few creators do videos with this palette and I believe it launched on Black Friday so you guys should be getting your order soon and I cannot wait because I know there's gonna be even more videos the palette did sell out but I think they are doing a pre-order if I'm not wrong, so if you guys have had your eye on this palette, definitely do consider picking this up. Watch my video, it'll give you an idea of what the shadows do on my eyelids. And spoiler alert, they're gorgeous. So just so you know, very proud of my friend, very happy for this collab. Okay, so another Morphe product, because why not? I picked up this guy from Morphe. I actually saw this in store when I was at their store because this is part of their holiday collection. And I passed on it at the time because I'm pretty sure I have all of these. Yes, I have all of these liquid lipsticks in full sizes, but I was placing an order on Morphe's website because I wanted to pick up the P. Louise face base in the shade 
zero because I actually in the Morphe store when I was there at the Mall of America I picked up the shade 05 and I have been loving this freaking eyeshadow base oh my gosh it's so good I really thought that this was like a hype thing but I've used it pretty much the whole month and I've really enjoyed how this works with so many different eyeshadow formulas I pretty much do my eye makeup every day and I've just worked with this and I've really, really been enjoying it. So I do think this is worth the hype. You guys know I'm not even an eyeshadow primer person. So the fact that I like this, I think says a lot. And so I really wanted to try the white shade because I want to try it with like the Creepy Cute palette and try it with like pastels and things like that. And I haven't done that yet. This is brand new. I haven't used this at all. So Look forward to that in an upcoming video, but I love these and the white one was sold out at the Morphe store So then I wanted to place an order and then I saw that these were available and I was like I really want to try the Morphe gloss formula and why not get some minis of like my favorite liquid lipsticks the shade true story Every time I wear it in a video, you guys ask me, what shade is that? What shade is that? What shade is that? And I think this is like 29 bucks, and you get three liquid lips and three glosses. So I thought it was a great deal and they're shades I know and love. And it's so convenient to have a mini, like to throw in a purse and stuff like that. So I picked this set up. I think it's amazing. Like I said, you can break this up, give some to your friends, keep some or buy it all for yourself. Love it so, so much. The P. Louise bases, I've really, really been enjoying, so wanted to mention that in my video as well. Okay, so let's talk about ColourPop, because what kind of haul video would this be if I don't talk about ColourPop? I bought way too many things from ColourPop, as per usual. It looks like I've purchased four eyeshadow palettes from them this month. God, I hope I don't find any more. This is really crazy. But I picked up all of these eyeshadow palettes, so I picked up the Bye Bye Birdie, which I did film a look with. I honestly didn't love this palette, so I did end up putting this in my declutter pile. I think I'm just going to sell this on Poshmark. It's a nice palette, but it's not like anything I don't have, you know, so I don't really need to hold on to this and have it take up space in my makeup collection, but I did enjoy the few times I did use it, but... I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, I wanna make room in my collection because I know I'm gonna buy more makeup in 2020, so I thought, you know, why hold on to things? That's not my vibe. So I used it, I liked it, and I'm gonna get rid of it, but yeah, I wanted to feature it in my video because I did buy this in the month of November. These two I haven't used yet, but I'll show them to you real quick. The Flutter Buy I bought because I want to compare it to the new Pat McGrath Mothership 8 palette, which I also purchased. This kind of has that vibe, and if it's a dupe, I mean, that's great right and then the coconuts palette i bought because the shade coco crush was like screaming to me but i actually filmed a swatch party video with these eyeshadow palettes and this hardly shows up on me i can definitely see this being like an everyday palette in my collection if i had no makeup or this was the only eyeshadow palette i have but i have a ton of makeup like this so i don't see this staying in my collection for very long but I do want to film a look with this and then I'll probably pass it on to a friend because I know my friends would really like these tones. And then the final palette I picked up is the Whatever palette. This isn't even really that new of a palette from Colourpop but it always kind of caught my attention and it kept going out of stock when they, you know, had sales and stuff like that. So I was never able to pick it up. And then one day I did see it was in stock and I grabbed it. And honestly, this might be my favorite ColourPop palette of 2019. I know the Good Sport was a lot of people's favorites last year. And I don't know, I feel like they came out with so, so much. But this one, to me, just works so great as an everyday palette. It shows up on my skin tone. The formulas are nice. I even wore this pressed glitter to my work Christmas party I just tapped it on and it gave such a beautiful sparkle but yeah these are kind of like my everyday matte palette shades so I really enjoy this palette and I will be holding on to this in my 
ColourPop collection. Okay, another ColourPop product that I bought is this Soul Body highlighter in the shade Warm Glow. So I was really curious about these, and then Angelica got them in PR, and she said, oh my gosh, they swatch really beautifully, and I was like on the fence, so then I was like, okay, let me just try one shade, and so I bought Warm Gold. It is the highlighter I have on my face. It's supposed to be a body highlighter, but I honestly think you can wear this on your face. It does have a little bit of glitter, but it is so nice and it's so buttery and soft and you get quite a bit of product so I don't know I like this I think this would even be a fun gift for somebody in your life that loves highlighter and loves to glow okay so let's give Colourpop a break and talk about some beautiful nail polishes I picked up this month OMG you guys I love kale polish when Kathleen lights did kale polish I pretty much had all her nail polishes and then I was so depressed when she kind of talked about how she was stepping away from kale polish and I was so excited when she finally launched new shades through her new brand lights lacquer and I was like mm, I don't really need all of them but I know usually like with kale her sets would always sell out and the bun the bundles would always sell out and the bundles were always the best deal so when I saw these launch I just bought the bundle and no regrets like I was gonna go for the two green shades and then this shade called girl power which is basically like Natasha Denona lime chrome in a, in a nail pot I was gonna get those three but then I knew I kind of wanted this shade rosy because it's like a beautiful nude with like a gold flip and then I was like, eh, I don't really need woman or head bitch in charge. Um, but I'm so glad I bought the set because I love all of these shades. I even love head bitch in charge. It just makes my nails look so expensive and so elegant. So I've been wearing these nail polishers non-stop this month and I'm actually wearing them on my nails right now. I'm wearing 11 and some of my nails have girl power on top of 11. So I love these. These are even creamier than the originals and she just knocked it out of the park. I think she's coming out with a holiday collection. So even though I already have six polishes, I'm already eyeing her new collection so I do hope she does a holiday collection and I'm really excited for Light Slacker because Kale Polish was my favorite and I was so sad knowing that they were going away because I just knew there was no other nail polish brand out there for me so Kathleen Lights please never stop making nail polish because you truly are so good at it and I'm so happy to have these Okay guys, so I think I featured this product in my October haul, but I also picked some more up in November. So these are the Pow Pow Wonder Blenders from AOA Studio. This is Shop Missy's brand, and they came out with this value pack, so you can get six sponges for under $10. I had heard whispers on YouTube about these sponges, but if you go on Shop Missy, they have so many different kinds, so I wasn't sure which ones to get. And then when I met up with Amy, at Ipsy she told me which ones to get and now I'm just like hooked on these I recommend these to everyone they're so inexpensive and they're so good and so soft I used a new one today because um, I felt like it was time to switch and they're so inexpensive it's like you could just use like one a week. I have friends who do makeup on clients and they just buy these like the boatloads because you can just use them as a disposable sponge and you're getting such good value. So would 100% recommend picking these up. Okay, so are you guys ready for me to go back and talk about a few more ColourPop things? I did pick up two eyeliner pencils from them when I placed the Bye Bye Birdie order. So I picked up Charmer, which is actually the pencil I'm wearing in my waterline today. And then I picked up Prance because Angelica recommended it when we were in New York. She was wearing this shade and it just stayed on her waterline so good. And I just thought it was such a pretty color. And so I bought these two and I really like them so far. And I also picked up a set of lippies from the Birdie collection. So there's Cloud Chaser, which is an ultra blotted lip, and then Well Nested, which is the glossy lip. I couldn't find the ultra blotted, but I'm sure it's somewhere in my lipstick drawer. I don't love the colors. I thought they were gonna be more purpley or more mauve -y and they're more purple than I expected. So I don't love these shades and I've kind of decided that I really need to like 
slow down on the lipstick train. I just decluttered like a hundred lipsticks and you guys will see that in an upcoming video. So um, no more lipsticks for me, I think is gonna be my rule for 2020. But yeah, I have the ColourPop gloss and the ultra blotted you guys know i love the ultra blotted so i was really curious because i thought those shades were going to be like really unique but they're like not that unique they're just like okay and then i totally got sucked in with the flutter by collection because they have this lip set and i didn't really need all five of them but i figured my mom loves bullet lipstick so i thought whatever shades i don't use i can just give to her or when she comes to visit me she can just have all of them because I'll probably be on to something else but these are actually really nice I like the formula so soft I really like the shade Virgo Moon and the shade Slow Dance those are the reasons why I picked these up but like I said I can see my mom really loving these shades so I don't mind that I bought the whole set and saved a little bit of money this is their um, what is this formula it's the Velvet Blur formula and I was curious to see if these are like a decent dupe to the Pat McGrath matte lipsticks because they kind of have that same look they're very when you look at the bullet they look very matte and like I don't know how to explain it they just look very very matte and very nice so I really found the formula very comfortable so far and I would recommend it to you guys plus I think this would make such a great gift for the makeup lover in your life okay guys so the next two products and the collaboration basically broke the internet, everyone was saying. So I'm sure you guys know I did pick up the Mini Controversy and the Conspiracy Palette by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. I wasn't planning on picking this up, but then I happened to be again at the Mall of America Morphe store and they had these in stock like a week after they launched. So I was like, why not? Let me buy them. You know, I can talk about them in my channel since I like makeup and I I've bought a lot of Jeffree's makeup so I feel like I'm a great person to test it out and stuff like that. I do want to film a full review on these palettes. I haven't really used the mini controversy yet. The conspiracy I've been dabbling with whenever I have a spare minute and so far I can very safely say my favorites are the top row and the bottom row. The middle row for me is uh, and uh, yeah, look forward to a review. I was really, really excited for the shade food videos, so I do wanna try it with the P. Louise white base because I wanna see if I can make something happen with that color because it's such a beautiful neon shade. So yeah, this is what everything looks like. I believe these will relaunch again next year sometime so I'm not in too much of a hurry to do a video on this because you can't even buy it anyway and please don't buy these on like eBay and stuff and spend crazy amounts of money you don't need to do that just wait it out they're they're not that good like they're not worth paying more than what they cost just wanted to throw that out there for you guys that have been contemplating buying these palettes. Now I'm gonna talk about the, I don't know, launch of the year in my opinion, are these Melt Palettes. Oh my goodness, this is the Amore Eterno Collection by Melt Cosmetics, and this officially launched a few days ago on Black Friday, but I was able to pick it up during a pre-sale, and these are stunning, and I did do a look and a review of these palettes on my channel for you guys. I also did multiple looks on my Instagram, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do so, and yeah, I just think these are so stunning. They're not everyone's cup of tea as far as color story goes, but I do think they are very, that if you have some creativity in you, you will be able to make some really, really beautiful eyeshadow looks with these palettes, and honestly, probably one of my favorite launches of 2019. I'm so happy I was able to pick these up and I did pick up the highlighter as well it's somewhere in my makeup collection but you guys have already seen all of it but just wanted to mention these in my haul video because I love them so so much okay so the next thing I picked up is more eyeshadow palettes is anybody surprised I did finally pick up the Juvia's Place the Warrior 3 I did not want this palette when it first launched but I saw Angelica do a look with this actually she did like three looks one palette but she did a look where she used the purple and the blue and then the blue shimmer on her lid and it was stunning and so I'm like okay I need that palette so I bought this thank you so much 
Angelica for making me buy things that I didn't even want to buy originally. Um, this palette I really, really wanted. And of course, I saw that it was available on Ulta, so I did use my Ulta points. So I didn't actually pay for these because I had enough points to cover the purchase. Um, but this color story just like speaks to me on like a personal level. I feel like personally very attacked by this palette because when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's so crunchy and beautiful. So I definitely need to film a look with this for you guys. I've used it on my face already, um, but I definitely need to get to know this palette more and film some more with it and test it out and stuff like that. But so far, I'm really happy I picked both of these up. And Juvia's Place is having like so many killer sales for Black Friday and stuff, and I'm sure at Christmas time, they'll probably have a good deal as well. So consider adding these to your Juvia's Place collection if you haven't already. Okay, so another affordable product I picked up is this Milani Gilded Gold eyeshadow palette. So this was actually showing for like 20 bucks on the Milani website, but then I was filming like a wish list video and I was linking the products and I found this on Target for like 15 bucks. So I was like, Hell yeah, let me grab it, why not? This green shade, Eden, just like sucks me in. And I did film like a little video comparing this to the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, as well as the Alter Ego Goddess Palette because a lot of people kept saying how much they thought this reminded them of the Gold Palette. I must say, I don't think they're dupes at all. I mean, I can see like a slight inspiration, but I feel like that would be a huge stretch to say that this palette was inspired by the gold palette. I think it's very much like a neutral palette with a fun pop of green. And I just think this is so exciting that the drugstore is coming out with stuff like this because for an everyday consumer to be able to just walk into a Target and pick something like this up, I think that's fabulous. It makes me so happy. I love Milani. They make some amazing drugstore makeup, so really happy that I own this. Okay, guys, so the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is a little bit of a regret. I don't know. I thought this was so pretty when I saw Mel Thompson show this in a video that I just kind of jumped in because you guys know I'm a sucker for a glowy blush so these two shades just like call to me and this packaging is so pretty so I did pick this up from MAC Cosmetics and this is the Star Dipped Face Compact in the light shade and I did already use this in a video so you guys will have to check it out. I think it's okay but it's not my like favorite glowy blush. I feel like I have other glowy blushes that are a lot more pigmented than this so Kind of depressed that I picked that up. I may declutter it, we'll see how it goes. Now, two things that I don't regret picking up that are so glowy and delicious are these two Nabla highlights, the Skin Glazing in Truth and Adults Only. These sold out on Ulta, like before I even knew they were available on Ulta. And so I was so depressed and I set up one of those, okay, I was so sad about it and I set up one of those like notify me alerts when they came back in stock and I went for the two unusual shades I thought Truth looked very peachy and I thought I could use it as a blush and then Adult Only I thought would be a cool dupe for um, Ruby Riches from Fenty but I didn't want to pay the Fenty price and I'm so glad I picked these up. They are so stunning. I'm actually wearing Adult Only as a blush today and since I liked both of these so so much I picked up a highlighter from them because I got an Ulta coupon for $10 off the Ulta website if you spend $50 so I did pick these up and then I also picked up this palette and then I picked up the more neutral palette. So Angie's been raving about the cutie palette from Nabla and they are available at Ulta. So I picked it up. Mine, they sent me this because this was the only thing I bought. They sent it to me in a freaking envelope and it shattered. And the same shade when I got a replacement was also shattered. So I feel like Ulta really should get their packaging together because it's really too bad. And I was able to press it back in and I could try and contact them again, but I really fucking don't want to. 
<laughs> so whatever but I am excited to have this I am really really interested in trying more things from Nabla I really really want their new face palette but I'm gonna try and wait for that to come to the US because I don't want to pay for it to ship from Italy to Fargo I'm just gonna wait until I can get it on Ulta that's my plan so far so I did pick up some things before the Sephora sale ended I picked up the replica perfumes. I picked up Under the Lemon Tree and Jazz Club and usually I'm a savage. You guys know this. I will buy the full size perfume because you know, why not? It's like if I'm gonna invest, I might as well go balls deep. But <laughs> these are like 150 bucks in full size and actually my husband was gonna buy me Under the Lemon Tree when we were in the cities because it was during the Sephora sale and I told him no because I was gonna buy the mini so I grabbed these, this and the Jazz Club. I love Jazz Club so, so much. It smells so good. So the next time a Sephora sale comes around, I think I'm gonna pick up the full size because I really enjoy wearing it and I also really enjoy Under the Lemon Tree. These smell exactly how the names are. Like this one smells like your inside a fucking lemon tree. It smells so good. So if you guys ever get the chance to smell these scents, I would recommend it, but be careful because smelling them may cause you to want to spend $150. So you have been warned, just so you know. The other thing I picked up during the Sephora sale was the Norvina Mini Pro Pigment whatever palette. And I've only used this once and I've only used two shades. I used this green and this green and I was honestly really impressed. I filmed like a five minute video talking to you guys about this and swatching it and giving you kind of my first impressions. But I don't know if this just has a good formula or this combined with the P. Louise Eye Base just makes like the perfect combination. But I was like truly impressed and blown away by this palette. So I'm very, very happy that I picked that up. Okay, and then the next thing I picked up is the KKW X Mario collab. I actually picked up all the products. I don't know where the blush is and I don't know where the lip pencil went, but here is everything. I already filmed a look with this palette, so it should be up shortly or it may already be up. Like I said, I am doing Vlogmas this year, so there's gonna be a video on my channel every day, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss anything. But here's the palette, here's the lippies. I'm actually wearing the lippies as well. And they're definitely very Kardashian, you know? Very nude. <laughs> so you definitely need to be careful. This might not be the most tan girl friendly color combo, but I feel like it works for me, you know? Not bad. I don't love the eye palette. I I actually kind of low-key think it's a very snooze fest palette, but, oops, I just dug my nail into it, but that doesn't mean that you won't enjoy it. And so if you love Mario, if you love KKW, you might want to pick this up because it's going to be like a great everyday kind of palette for uh, most people. Okay, so very exciting um, PR that I also received is from Adept Cosmetics. They do the really beautiful magnetic palettes and now they relaunch, I think, or are really getting into their color cosmetics. And they have a bunch, I think they have like 50 something eyeshadows maybe more not sure and I've just been like lusting over these eyeshadows and so I placed a small order I ordered six of them and then the owner contacted me and offered to send me a few more to try out so I am so so grateful and these are freaking stunning I'm wearing three shades on my eyes today I did film this look so watch out for that video if you guys want to see how these perform on my eyes but the tea is that I love them and I don't think you guys will be disappointed so if you've been wondering about these I like them a lot and I'm so so grateful that I was sent them and I think they're really good so far from what I've tried and I also have a swatch party video so make sure you guys check those things out if you have been contemplating a purchase from Adept. Okay, so got two more items. The next thing is the Mercury Retrograde Palette. This is 
Such a stunning palette. I couldn't wait when this launched. Like, it literally launched like a couple of days before the Sephora sale and I bought it like full price. Like an idiot. But sometimes I love supporting a fellow brown girl and Huda Beauty, you know, she nails it for the brown ladies in my opinion. And I think this is such a fun palette. I definitely want to do more looks with it. I did one look with it, but I want to film more with that palette. So let me know if you guys would be interested. And last but certainly not least is the Big Mama purchase for me in November is this guy. This is the Mothership 8, I believe. I hope Pat McGrath is going to take a break now. Okay, so the weird thing is, like, she's coming out with a lot of stuff, but I don't know if a lot of people remember this, but her first launch was three of these palettes, and they all came out at the same time. So I did buy three of them in one go when she first launched, and I didn't even know anything about this brand. So I know it seems like a lot, but it's really not... It's really not. She's just breaking up the purchases, which that's kind of sketchy, I guess, because you could have gotten a bundle deal if she came out with a bunch of them together. This whole launch was just a little bit weird because it launched first in the UK, and I cannot believe people paid like 150 bucks for this palette um, to have it shipped from the UK, but... That's not my business, it's not my finances, but yeah. I've used this palette twice. I don't think it's that spectacular, but I can see this being like a great neutral palette for everyone. So I will do a video with this. I haven't filmed it yet, but when I do, you guys will see it on my channel. You guys know I love to collect these. I love her vibe, Auntie Pat. Like, she has been doing some things recently. So very, very excited to have that in my collection. And I will definitely film a video with an eye look and hopefully be able to review that for you guys shortly. Okay, I was about to end this video and I realized that I have one more thing to show you. And you guys, disclaimer, like I am such a small YouTube channel. For me to get PR, like you don't understand. Like it's so helpful to get PR and even just like to be recognized by a brand and then furthermore to be recognized by brands you love is amazing so I'm so grateful because I did get another PR package from Kaleidos and this is their new lippies that they're launching and how cute is this packaging like are you guys kidding me so each of the lipsticks comes in one of these boxes and it has the finish the shade name and then you know 12 month shelf life recyclable packaging like all of that is on here but I cannot get over this packaging. I think this is so cute. I think you could put these on a Christmas tree or you could make some kind of craft project. Like these in a beauty room would be stunning. Like, I don't know. This is like so creative to me. I think it's such a fun way to package something, something we've never seen before. So I was very, very excited to receive these. And yeah, basically it is their lipsticks and I am planning on doing a lip swatch video in collaboration with some of my other friends. So you guys might have even already seen that collab before my haul video goes up. It just kind of depends on the timing I am trying to pre-film. But here are the new Kaleidos shades that they launch. So there was three lip glosses and then I think these are more of a liquid lipstick formula so I have the shade infusion I have the shade immersion and mesmerize oh mesmerize is a gloss sorry and then the other liquid lip is injection injection yeah so these are the liquid lipsticks and then here are the beautiful glosses are you kidding me um so we have mesmerize we have fantasize and um crystallize Unreal. These are so stunning. So again, I'm so grateful to Kaleidos. I'm so happy to be able to talk to you guys about this brand and just to be on their PR list. I'm very grateful. Luckily, I've not had to say anything negative about this brand because everything so far has been spectacular and I hope they continue on um, on this journey and continue to come out with amazing affordable makeup so that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video leave me a comment down below let me know what you picked up in the month of November 
what you're looking forward to in December. And of course, just so you guys know, I do have a giveaway that is ending on December 31st on my channel. So definitely go ahead and enter that. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.